Hey friends, how is everybody doing? It is so good to see everybody again. Welcome back for Chapel. I'm Miss Shannon and I'm happy to be with you again. We are going to be finishing up our creation this week. Cannot believe our, all this time has already passed and this is our seventh week that we're going to talk about creation. So we've changed our pictures up a little bit because last week Pastor Pat finished up with week six. And so today we're going to talk about what happened on day seven during our creation, okay? So like you know, we have been talking about creation for the last few weeks and we learned that on the first day, God created night and day. He said, let there be light. And we know that everything was good when he said that. And then on the second day, he created the sky and the clouds. How about that? And also we know that it was good. And on the third day, he created land and plants for us. And it was so, so good. And on day four, God made the sun and the moon and the stars. And it was good. And on day five, God created the birds and the fish of the seas. And he saw that it was good. And on day six, God created animals and he created people and he saw that it was all very very good god worked so so hard to create all that he created so on the seventh day god rested he saw that everything he created was very good and he was pleased it made him happy now sometimes you might see your teachers do this this means to stop or rest just like God did on the seventh day. And sometimes, you guys, we all need to rest. I know it's so much fun to play and run and have a good time, but oftentimes our bodies need time to just rest. And big folks call this Sabbath. It's just time to rest and let your body recharge. So when you see someone do this, that means to rest. And they want you to just take a break, just like God did on the seventh day, okay? So we're going to go ahead and sing our creation song. We've got seven verses to sing, okay? So I want everybody to take a deep breath. <sighs> Fill up those lungs. You ready to sing? All right, here we go. God created, God created night and day, night and day. That was on the first day, that was on the first day. It was good, it was good. God created, God created sky and clouds, sky and clouds. That was on the second day, that was on the second day. It was good, it was good. God created, God created land and plants, land and plants that was on the third day that was on the third day it was good it was good god created god created sun moon stars sun moon stars that was on the fourth day that was on the fourth day it was good it was good God created, God created birds and fish, birds and fish. That was on the fifth day, that was on the fifth day. It was good, it was good. God created, God created creatures on land, people too. That was on the sixth day, that was on the sixth day. It was good. It was good. Then God rested, then God rested from his work, from his work. That was on the seventh day, that was on the seventh day. All was good, all was good. Great job, you guys. That was so good. I know that's a really long song, but God did so much work in these seven days. He did a really amazing job. And you guys have learned all about the story of creation. Excellent, excellent. 
All right, so we are going to sing another song together because you know Miss Shannon loves to sing. We are going to sing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands, okay? And obviously, with all these things that he's created, he's got a lot of things in his hands. So let's see if we can sing this song together. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the sun and the rain in his hands. He's got the moon and the stars in his hands. He's got the wind and the clouds in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the rivers and the mountains in his hands. He's got the oceans and the seas in his hands. He's got you and me in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody there in his hands. He's got everybody everywhere in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Good job, you guys. Sometimes Miss Shannon needs help with emotions. She gets confused. So y'all just keep helping me, okay? All right, sounds good. Teamwork. All right, friends, we are going to finish with the doxology because we want to thank God for all of our blessings. So we're going to make our prayer hands. We're going to close our eyes and let's sing the doxology together, thanking God for all he gives us. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Beautiful friends. Y'all are just fabulous. All right, Miss Shannon's going to see you next time. I hope you have a great week. Remember to be sweet for your teachers and be good for your parents, and we'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.